Hi, um, my name is Liz Boyette, and um, this is Mary Browning and Jake Driscoll. Um, we are three students who um, are representing our um, team that is going to be traveling to the Dominican Republic over spring break. Um, and we're just here to talk a little bit about our experiences with uh, going on mission trips with Western Christian. Um, Mary and I have both traveled to um, Uganda, Africa, as well as um, Mexico, and Jake has also um, joined us on that trip to Mexico. Um, so we're just going to be talking about our experiences with um, being on these trips and how they've impacted our lives and enabled us to impact other lives. So um, Mary, would you like to speak on that? Yeah, so for me, I've always wanted to be a missionary. Um, but it's always been something that was in my imagination. So then when I got to go to Uganda my freshman year, I think one of the biggest lessons I got to learn was what it actually looks like and all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes and more of the reality of being a missionary. And God really confirmed for me that this is something that he wants me to do. Um, he showed me real challenges that happen and just, um, and that encouraged my heart. And so after that trip, I wanted to be a missionary even more. And then um, last year in Mexico, he just really showed me how diverse he is and that I am not limited to one sort of service, that he can use me in any situation that he wants to use me in. Um, yeah, and that was just such a cool lesson to learn that, that he can use us anyway and that we're here to serve. Yeah. Um, what about you, Jake? <clears throat> uh, for me, I actually had no interest in missions <laughs> until <laughs> kind of the, the Lord just like, uh, spoke actually through Liz and said Liz came up to me one day and she said uh, I was reading in Luke you need to go on a mission trip and <laughs> I, re I read that yeah. <laughs> that was yeah that was just like completely like out of the blue and I just knew that was totally the Lord saying like hey I want you on this trip and I went uh, just willingly knowing uh, the Lord wanted me to go uh, he provided just everything to go and he definitely used me there I I got to meet uh a guy, uh, his name was Misael, and he just mm -hmm. totally built a relationship between me and him to be able to share with him and uh, encourage him as uh, he was just building a faith and getting ready to go to college and stuff. So it was, it was just a really unique and um, just a blessing to be able to be even, uh, be on that trip. So I'm excited uh, as we go into the Dominican Republic just to see what the Lord is going to do there. So. Yeah, one thing that's really cool about the Dominican Republic, like this trip specifically, um, in the past our whole group has been involved in certain areas of ministry, but on this trip we're actually being like spread out and there are some people that are going to be working in um, dentistry, some people working in uh, social work, healthcare, um, education, sports ministry. Um, so it's really cool that how different students have different talents and abilities, we're going to be able to go out there and be doing specific things, working with like specific organizations. Um, but with all of that, you know, um, there is some financial burden there, and so I guess the purpose of this video is just um, asking if any of um, anyone watching this video would uh, feel convicted and want to um, contribute. Um, I guess just saying like this is something that not only impacts our lives but um, impacts the people that will be able to go and serve. Um, speaking from a personal level, uh, especially when I was in um, Uganda. I met a certain boy named Patrick who is um, who had been injured and um, had some issues with his foot and I was able to um, kind of be there for him and help take care of him and just kind of you could do that here and you could do that anywhere in the world but um, I think especially in that situation you know it opened up in my heart a desire to just want to be hands and feet you know it's not always a glorious task but we're called to serve and you know I think all three of us have a desire to do that um, so thank you so much for watching